run. DRZ 400 SM oil change. Yeah, that was stupid. Um, so we're gonna do an oil change on my DRZ. This is gonna be the second oil change on it. Uh, we're gonna check the uh, hidden screen. Some of you all may know about it already. Some of you all may not. Uh, pretty important to make sure it's clear so you keep your oil pressure up. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and start warm up the bike. Try not to rev it too much because we want to get you know most of the oil in the bottom end. Amsoil, not sponsored by this video. All right, so we've been running for quite a while. We're nice and warm. I've gone ahead and started taking some bolts off here. I'm gonna have a mess to clean. This is all packed full of dirt and you'll have to excuse me. I feel like I'd normally be a little bit better prepared for videos, so my bad. So for the purpose of the oil change, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, a 12 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, a wrench, and a 24 millimeter deep with a, um, I don't know, maybe a half inch drive or something to get the uh, hidden screen out there. Um, as well as 1.8, 1.9 quarts of oil, somewhere around there, and an oil filter. But let's go ahead and get some oil drain in here first. Let's get this plate. There's four bolts that hold this plate in. One, two, three, and then uh, this final one back here. Uh, that's why I wanted to remove that first because I didn't want that going in my oil. Because I like to look at my oil when uh, I drain it out to see if there's any metal plates and shit like that. That's another story. This is a frame drain. We're going to drain oil out from here. It seemed to get a lot of oil out from there the last time. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Yeah, That's going to be a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter pair. I paired it. So let's go ahead and get that draining. Again. Boop. Just right there, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Another thing really important is when you're doing a fucking oil change, you want to wear the nicest fucking pants possible so that you screw them up. Um, you know, so you get yelled at by the wife. Um, so I've let it drain for about three or four minutes now, so that's good enough. Uh, you may notice a couple new um, tools here. We got a funnel to add oil in, and we got some brake clean to clean the. Uh, contact surfaces up contact cleaner brake clean is really good at cleaning oil off engine surfaces and stuff my apologize i should have put that in the front of the video but today's an off freaking day for me i don't know what the deal is so nice and clean go ahead and put this back in you don't need to like over torque it or anything like that 10 15 foot pounds of torque will do just fine my apologies so there's actually four drain spots so the second one is going to be right here under the engine it's going to be a 14 millimeter Again, dirty as hell. So we'll clean that surface up, you know, when time comes. Let's just get it draining. Eh. All right, there we go. That one's draining. So this is actually your drain plug. Um, and stock, it's magnetic. So we're gonna look, look at all that shit on there. 1,400 miles fresh off the second the second oil chain so I'm hoping that kind of slows down over time drain for about five minutes or so that's nice little teeny tiny drip there so uh, that's good enough good and tight nice and snug but not over snug third thing here we're gonna do um, this is just the drain for the oil filter housing uh, it's nice to get every little bit of oil out you possibly can so we're gonna go ahead and take that off and let this bit drain I said we're just being uh we're just being meticulous today we're doing the whole thing doing it properly get a 10 millimeter here 10 millimeter peter um one thing to note real quick is if you're going to use an electric gun make sure you're going the right fucking direction right arrow up for this this means up these studs on this housing are extremely fragile um i've seen people snap them with maybe 30 or 40 foot pounds of torque so we want to be careful and mindful of that when we go back together and there you got your spring very important make sure you return that if it falls off you got an o-ring here make sure we replace that with the oil filter and you have your filter sometimes this is a little bit of a bitch you just kind of got to flick it because it's not stuck or anything it's just the slant of the engine 
I knew these would come in handy sometime. Let's see. Bing. There you go. You got a little o-ring right there. I'd say make sure to replace it if you got it. If you don't, it should be okay, but wow okay so i had automatically assumed the bigger box the bigger cc engine that's for the dr200 the actual part number and i'm gonna edit that out at the beginning of the video is 171638 that's the actual filter bike master filter holy fucking shit so yeah i'm not necessarily sure i would recommend this oil filter because it does not come with those gaskets i could have sworn they came with them last time we're just gonna have to reuse them and hope they don't fucking leak this is exactly why I don't recommend it because over time the seal will swell up and it won't fit in that hole and it won't seal properly. I don't like that. But we kind of got no choice. Remember, arrow up. Let's do it by hand. And little baby snugs this time. Remember, like five or seven. I mean, it might not even be five foot pounds of torque. We're just kind of. I would actually recommend using a quarter inch um, just so you don't over torque it. So we did one, two, three, star pattern, doing them equally. Little baby snug there. Uh, when we start to warm up the bike in the end, we're gonna double check for leaks. We're gonna make sure it's not seeping around this seal since we're reusing the old seal. Don't forget to uh, replace this or else all your oil will just like squirt out the bottom of the engine. Now let's get to the fun part. Again, not that uh, complicated. It's uh, a 24 millimeter bolt and a hose. So we take the hose clamp off, we drop the hose down, and we undo the 24 millimeter. Time frame, I'd probably do it every other old change, or maybe even every third old change, if you're like me and you're changing it every 1,500 miles or so. So maybe every 3,000, 4,000 miles, check it, you know, just to be sure. Clean it out. So that should, yep, see how that just does? Just broke it barely loose and it came. Snap on, only quality tools. More like rape you in the ass. Okay, so. One thing important to note here, um, the amount of torque, I was using a half inch breaker bar and it barely took any force so I'm gonna say 15 to 20 foot-pounds of torque when you're going back that thing barely took any force to loosen up so when you're going back the only reason why I'm using a half inch is because I don't have a 24 and 3 8 size so we do have some weird shit on here Again, this bike has like 1,600 miles, some red and blue flakes. I don't know where the hell that came from. There's also chunks of metal on there, you can see. And all that, like I said, all that's normal. That's from the break-in, and that's why we're doing the screen now. You want to make sure it's clean. So we're going to take contact cleaner, clean it off, put it back together. All right, we're pretty much done. All we have to do is add the oil, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and dump the uh, whole two quarts in. I'm a firm believer in slightly above is actually probably better. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure your funnel is clean. So we're gonna start warm up the bike and I'm gonna show you all how to properly check the oil level. We're gonna run it for like three or five minutes or so. While we're running it, we're gonna check for leaks, make sure none of our fittings leaking, of course. All right, now that she's been running for a little bit, I'm gonna show you all how to properly check the oil. What you're doing is you're checking it when it's warm. You're taking this all the way out. Let's clean off the dipstick real quick, nice and clean. You're dropping it in. Do not thread it. Lift it out. And see where you're at. We're slightly over. Another thing you can do to check oil level is put it against a paper towel. And, uh, yeah, compare lines since it's so clean. That's what we want. Uh, we're going to be doing a DR200 oil change today as well. That video will be in my how-to section as well as um, if you want to learn how to install the exhaust system on this bike and uh, do a jetting. I do the uh, JD Jet Kit walkthrough, so that's in the how-to section. I'll put a link in the description of that. Until next time, stay safe, keep it on one wheel. Thanks for watching.